there's four million people in the United States who have this disease, and maybe there's 500,000 people out there who actually have BES. We got three and a half million people out there with a the disease they're suffering with needlessly because no one has thought of the disease, no one's diagnosed the disease, no one has connected the patient with the appropriate therapy. It doesn't take a lot of heavy lifting to diagnose this disease. All you have to do is think about it. Once you think about it, once you consider it in the differential diagnosis, then the diagnosis is easy to make, it's quick, it's easy, it's painless, and the treatment is safe and effective. But if you have a patient with COPD who is giving you a story of frequent recurring lower respiratory tract infections, suppurative infections where they're producing purulent sputum, yellow-green sputum, necessitating multiple courses of antibiotics over a period of years, um, that patient probably has comorbid bronchiectasis and needs a high-res CT scan to diagnose the comorbid bronchiectasis so they can then get, the, get appropriate therapy, which is um, HFCWO, high frequency chest oscillation.